let's go back to the baby daddy. He said, it's big of you. I said, I'll see you tomorrow. He said, kiss Mickey goodnight for me. <sighs> Y'all, <laughs> that's shenanigans. This is what this is. Tom foolery. Tom foolery shenanigans. Ridiculousness. Just all the words. <laughs> all the words. Okay, y'all. So I text Annie and I said, we're meeting at the Happy Bakers Company at 1 p.m. tomorrow. She said, good idea. It'll be super busy. I said, oh, and Annie, I'm going to stop posting anything that could re reveal where I am or what I'm doing on social media. Could you make sure you do the same whenever we're together? She said, good call. It's a very good call. Do you know what you need to do next? And she said, get in your pajamas and get a long, a good long rest. I said, yep, I'm pretty wiped. Speak to you in the morning. And she said, good night, babe. Good night. How can you sleep when somebody tried to just run up on you in your house? How can you do that? Okay, here go. Hugo. Hugo said, is everything okay? I didn't know if I should say anything, but you seemed really shaken earlier. Did something happen? I guess you've gone to bed now. That's good. But I want you to know you can talk to me. I know what it's like to feel alone. And like you can't talk to anyone about what you're going through. Oh, child. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know where to begin. But okay. Here's Kara. Looking forward to date night with this one. If his boss lets him out on time. Who is Kara? Is she another mama? No, ain't that my baby daddy? Date night with this one. I think that's my baby daddy, y'all. Ain't that Christopher? I don't know what these people look like. Sometimes you just got, okay, we saw that from Annie. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Bargain Bitch. It's your girl, Annie. Hey. Check out my denim tuxedo, all okay. right? So we got this denim jacket, which I could not walk away from because it fit me absolutely perfectly in the shoulders and it's a great length. Okay. Then we have these amazing high-waisted mom jeans, mom jeans which are mm -hmm. so back in style. Mm -hmm. um, hot tip, if you find a pair of denim jeans that you love, but they're a little bit too long and you don't want to hem them because either you don't want to pay someone else to do it or you don't have a sewing machine, what's super trendy right now is the fray edge. So what I do is I just chop it at the length that I need, throw it in the washing machine, and that does the work for you. If you want something a little bit more dramatic, you can take a pair of tweezers and thread out the threads, and that gives you something a little bit more interesting. I like to keep it simple myself. Okay. Um, also, you know, I'm not huge on accessories, but check out this amazing belt. Look at mm -hmm. it. How cute is that? I'm That's absolutely cute. in love with this thing. Mm -hmm. So those are my finds this week, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy watching Bargain Bitch. If you have any questions um, or you need any further tips, like please slide into my DMs. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And slide we'll see into our DMs. <laughs> DMs. Thank you, Annie. Amy. Annie. Annie. Auto <laughs> flip. Okay, hold on. This my son, y'all. Class, the answers are in the back of the book, and Mr. Matson has no idea. Why is my son such a menace? Challenge. Why is my son such a menace? Follow for challenge. Okay. Okay, Mickey, I ain't forgot about you trying to go on the on the dark web website, on the killer website. You gonna say a kiddo is so dado. Oh, kiddo is sick, so Dado is working from home. Oops, hold on. I'm just checking in with you guys. How are you upset? <laughs> so I hope she didn't have to go to school today. Hopefully she's not watching too much TV, you know, because I'm working downstairs, so I'm not really going to know. But, you know, it's, I'm trying to just make her some comfort food. Let me show you guys what I'm doing here. Yeah, I did not All know right, guys, you this is like this. With. Um, I'm trying to make these sandwiches for me and her. She... Honestly, it's kind of weird. She loves anything in between two pieces of bread. It honestly, it doesn't matter what it tastes like. So her mom used to always... It's... Uh, well, her sandwiches are really good. I'm not the best cook. I understand that. Is he feeding her? But I'm trying it, okay? That I'm trying to make awesome. something a little bit better. So my main focus, I'm trying to make a salsa with these tomatoes and avocado. And I'm not sure if you need more ingredients or not. But I know that Hallie's just going to eat the chips anyways. So... I'm just kind of working with that, and I'm gonna hopefully go with the flow. That maybe the sandwich isn't that good, but 
It doesn't matter, okay? Because, I said to flip that around, what matters is that we spend time together. Even though I'm working from home, I gotta focus. Even though she should be at school, because her mom would probably tell her to be at school. You know, I'm trying to, I gotta keep the family positivity up, right? So, whatever the case, we're gonna be here today enjoying each other's time. I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's been a, it's been a long day. Um, yeah, I'm checking in. Happy lunchtime. Okay. So here you go, you a good dad. Okay. Oh, here go Hannah, y'all. Hi, moms. Hannah here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Well, I wanted Hannah. to talk to you a little bit more about the article that I shared earlier about the dangers of the dark web. Well, I appeal to you, my mom audience, to educate yourselves. Read up. Share on Facebook. Join communities. You know, I have spent hours of my time doing these things, and what I have found has really shocked me. The dangers of the dark web are real. You know, there are drugs, there's prostitution, you can buy weapons, there's even pedophiles. You need to take it upon yourself to educate yourself so that you can protect your child. That is the most important thing you can do is make sure that you know the dangers that are out there. And then that way, you can be sure to prevent any potential harm to your child. Okay, bye, you know, girl. Our children are our legacy. Girl. And I would girl. love to talk more about this with you. If you have any questions, if I can share any resources with you, please DM me. We are a team, a mom team here, and we have to look out for each girl. other. Okay, I hope you all have a blessed day. And please remember to educate yourself. Have a great one. Bye, girl. We got beef with Hannah. We Good morning. <laughs> Hello, people of the universe. Okay. It is I, cleaner of bathrooms, going on a mission to find my next mansion to clean. And oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Like these houses. <laughs> you think it's nice? The mansion I'm going to, the size of that house is probably the parking garage. Okay, it's crazy. Like the bathrooms are the size of my entire house. No, I'm not, I'm not kidding because I know, cause I'm gonna go clean their toilets. Yep, that's me. The bathroom cleaner. Oh God. Like, when am I, when am I gonna stop cleaning stupid toilets and get, get my life together, you know? <laughs> Sorry, it's too too deep for such a <laughs> early time in the morning, but um, I hope you guys are having a fan fucking tastic day. Um, stay clean, clean your washrooms, please. Not stay clean. Um, and yeah, call me if you have a mansion that I can clean. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, girl. Sometimes the world proves you wrong, and people turn out to be all right. That's a nice picture. That's a nice picture. It's y'all. <laughs> it's it's shenanigans here. There are all types of shenanigans that just happen in the first day. Like, <laughs> ooh, child, it ain't even been twenty four hours. And shenanigans, tomfoolery, foolishness. What's another word? Ridiculousness. Mess. Craziness. All of the above, all of the above.